In this video, we're going to install the advanced button controller in SmartThings and get that set up so we can set up some advanced things to do with our buttons. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. What we're gonna do is install this custom smart app from GitHub, and we're gonna install that into our smart things, and I'm gonna show you on the phone what all the options are in the app. So the first thing we need to do is we need to log into our smart things account online. So it's account.smartthings.com slash login, and you just want to sign in with your Samsung account. Now once you're signed in, you want to go to My Locations and choose your home location, and then jump over to your Smart App section. Okay, now in the Smart App section, um, if you don't have this menu up here, I'm going to leave a link on how to get the GitHub integration set up, because it would be a lot easier to um, install this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the GitHub integration to install this um, and check out that other video if you don't see these menu items. And then I'm going to show you the manual way to do it real quick afterwards. So the first thing we're going to do is you need to go into your settings and you need to add this here. These three items are coming right from the GitHub with the username, the name of the basically the folder, and the branch. So that one, that one, and that one. And that's where we're getting this information here. So I'll leave all of this in the video description below. And once you get that set up, you just want to click the Save button. Now once it's saved, um, you can go up to the Update from Repo. And we just need to choose the ABC Master. All right. And then it's going to bring in two um, smart apps here. And this one is the um, ABC Manager, and this is the Child. So the Manager needs to be published. So we're going to go ahead and install that and publish it. And then we need to install the Child. So we're going to do the same exact thing. Go to the ABC Master again and we're going to click on that and we do not want to publish this one so we just want to um, check off the box and click execute update okay now in our list you can see that we have the abc child creator and the abc manager so we have both of these installed now if you did want to do this the manual way without using the github integration all you would need to do is go over to GitHub, click on the Smart Apps section, and I'm going to leave this link in the description as well. And then you would want to click on the Manager, click on the Manager.Groove. I'll just do it real quick. So you copy it all the way to the bottom. Make sure you don't get anything down in here. Just copy to here. Control C and Control V. Click Create. And now you can see that it has created this smart app. Then you'd want to go ahead and publish it for me. Uh, I'm not going to do that because we've already got it installed using the GitHub integration. So now if we go back to our smart apps, we should have actually two of these. Um, so this is the one that we just installed that does not have a GitHub repository associated with it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just delete this from the middle. And then you would do the exact same thing to um, manually install the child. So you'd come over here, go back, go into the child creator, click on this, copy and paste the code. And you can see right at the top it says do not publish. So you do not want to publish this one. You just need to install it. All right, well, now that we have um, these two smart apps set up here, now we can open up our phone and 
start using them. So let's go ahead and jump over to our phone. Okay, so now we are on our SmartThings Classic app. And what you'd want to do is go over to your marketplace and go down to My Apps. Now, the ABC Manager does now show up in our top of our list. And we can tap on that and you can read about it a little bit, what's included, um, everything that it can do, and some special things for some special buttons here. So we're going to go ahead and hit done and then all we want to do is hit save. Now once you have done that um, under the marketplace and smart apps, now when you go back over to automation and the smart apps tab, you will then be able to see the ABC manager under your smart apps. So when we go into there and um, you have basically the exact same stuff that we just saw, but now it's just showing in a different section of the app and it's able to actually set up automations. So now you can go to new device mapping and then you would want to choose your button. So it's only going to show you um, items that can be used as a button. Um, so if I choose, say I choose this kitchen button, you can see that it's only going to bring in one button because that particular device is only one press button. So you can press it to turn something on, you can press it again to turn something off, and then you can hold it to turn something on, and you can hold it to turn something off. Now if I choose this button here, this has five buttons. So you can press it once, press it twice, press it three times, press it four times, or press it five times, or hold it. So it actually does have six um, potential things that it can do. So just keep that in mind. If yours looks different, it's all depending on the actual button that you have installed in SmartThings that you choose up here. So let's just choose the kitchen button because it's a little simpler. And then what you'd want to do is configure your buttons. So under step one is choosing your button. Step two is configure your buttons. So we're just going to choose number one. And then you can do all of these different things. So you could have a switch turn on, a switch turn off, a switch toggle on slash off. You can have dimmers um, set to different levels. You can increase by certain um, levels or decrease. Um, you can control speakers. You can toggle sirens. You can lock locks. You can adjust fans. You can move shades up and down. You can set the mode. You can run routines and you can do notifications. So there's all of that, all of those options under this one button press, which is just totally amazing, super simple to use and it can get really complicated depending on what you want that one button to do. You could have lights turn on here, turn off over there, dim to certain levels, turn on music, all with the press of one button. So let's just do a real simple one. We're just gonna say, turn on a switch when pressed, and we're just gonna choose our bar light. And let's go ahead and um, do a switch to turn off the bar light. So we're going to choose when pressed, bar light. So I press it once, it will turn on. I press it again, it will turn off. And we're going to go ahead and hit done. And then we're going to um, assign a name. So we're going to call this bar light button. All right, we're going to hit done and we're going to hit save and now that you can see the bar light button is now installed and automating and now at the top of the screen it says bar light button so that is what we had just created and it will just keep it right in this abc manager and if you ever wanted to change it you just tap on it you can change anything that you want to change and just save it again this is definitely the best way to automate your buttons um, in smart things. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. 
and I will see you in the next video.